Who's the biggest person in the music industry you fell out with, but it has since been repaired? <laughs> fell out with? Fell out with, but it's repaired now. Mm. Fell out with... I'm, I'm not gonna say we fell out, but we fell out of bed. I say the shit with Bird, man. I say the shit with Bird. We fell out with business because of me requesting to get out of my deal. I'm not gonna say repair, but kind of repair because it was ironic how I got out of my deal because the things that you would hear about Bird, man, you would think that it's impossible to get out of your deal. Um. I'm one of them niggas like, bro, when I reached out to him, he was open to talk. And he was just like, you know, nephew, this shit ain't going to be that easy, but we're going to give you a number. I'm going to get you in contact with my lawyer. Anybody that did, dealt with cash money, the lawyer is Ed. I, got, I had to get my lawyer to talk to Ed, figure out the number that he wanted for me to pay for me to get out of my deal. A lot of people don't know, I signed that deal for $300,000. That's what I got when I signed the cash money. Keep in mind, I went into that deal with my own money. Me and Money Man signed at the same time. We walked in that, into that deal with kind of our own paper. But um, he gave me $300,000 cash, and I gave four of my producers that I signed at that time some bread out of that. But he gave me $300,000 wired straight to me personally. Um, paid my managers and then took the rest home. You know what I mean? From that, keep in mind, while I always respect Bird and that relationship is repaired and good, Cause when I asked him what I had to pay to get out, you know how much you know how much he, the number he told me, three hundred thousand dollars, same amount. He said, just give me back what I gave you. He didn't want nothing, and uh, the only interest I paid, I paid like an extra sixty four thousand dollars to the people that introduced me to Birdman. There was two people that was under the management between that facilitated the deal that introduced me to Bird. They wanted sixty four thousand for the time and money that they spent. I was like, whatever, cool. So you know, at that time when I asked to get out, they um keep in mind a lot of y'all. There was this cat named CeeLo, that's from where Birdman and them from. And uh, Bird had changed his number back when everybody was asking to get out their deal, and so I hit CeeLo because I was still in contact with him, and I said, yo, bro, please tell Bird. You know, whatever I got to do to get out this deal, I'll pay it, bro. Just put me in contact with him. And he put me in contact with him. And that's how I got back in contact with Bird to get this facilitated. Keep in mind, right when I got the lawyers all connected to get out, get out my deal, CeeLo died. Passed away with a heart, like a heart attack or some shit. Nigga wasn't even that old. He died. So rest in peace, CeeLo, man, homie. Picked up his phone and went out his way and was always with Bird and contacted because he knew I was a good dude. And, um... I ended up facilitating something. Bird told me, yo, if you can give me 100000 up front, I'll let you release all your music again. And that's how I was able to release music while I was still paying my, my thing. A lot of people don't know. To get out my deal, I didn't say nothing disrespectful online. I don't do all that goofy shit. We men. You know what I mean? I might bump into one of your niggas and vice versa. I ain't trying to have nothing crazy happen. It's unnecessary. So I had my lawyers handle it. As long as that took, they said, yo, we want 360 thousand, all paid. And then you could do what you do. Give me a hundred thousand up front, and you could release your music while you're paying this off, and pay us. I had to pay like seven thousand and four hundred dollars a month, every month on the first. I couldn't be late until this thing was paid off, and that's what I did. That's how I got out my deal, and I'ma always respect Bird for that. You know what I mean? And then I ended up hitting them when I was when I had got down to like it was like a hundred thousand left. I called him. I was like, Yo, I got sixty for you, cash right now. Like, I'll give it to you at one time. Can we just, like, and he was like, nephew, put it in paper. Let's get it. Every time I asked him to do something and I had my business and my money ready, he was with that. And I'm always respected for that. And we always going to have love and respect. And that relationship is forever repaired for me. You know what I mean? So a lot of people don't know that, man. They got a lot of things to say about Bird. But I think if you speak to him a certain way and you're about his business and it's not a waste of his time, that nigga going to pick up that phone and he going to make it happen. He's not here to see nothing bad happen to nobody. He not here for that. He here to make it make sense. And, um, that's how I got out my deal, bro. Communication, having my bread, and being able to actually pay for it. So a lot of niggas stuck in their deal, Smalls, because they spent all their fucking money. And they don't got a good lawyer. And they don't, they don't know the business, but they out here on blogs saying, man, fuck that nigga, man, nigga. That's not how you handle business, my nigga. That's not how the white people do it. 
<laughs> they, they say, I'll see you in court, right? <laughs> and then that's where they handle it at. You know what I mean? So that's how I go, bro. That's how I did my shit.